Hey guys. Welcome to my whip parade. Woo. Uh, today is June 14th and it's probably around 9.30 and I set this up and then I ran to the store and literally 20 seconds after I left, we got this monsoon. <laughs> and it was kind of cloudy anyway, but now it's even worse. So I kind of moved around. Um, I decided I wanted to do it here, which is like right in front of my picture window. So obviously every behind, everything behind me looks different. <sighs> Lighting isn't going to be that great, but that's okay, right? We don't need to see stuff in real color, whatever. Um, so this is going to be pretty intense. I'm just going to show you. Oh my God. That's, those are my whips. Um, yeah, so grab something to eat and drink and maybe set up a smoke sing signal, you know, if you don't return, have somebody come for you because here we are. It's a no makeup kind of day. <laughs> I'm not, I haven't even brushed my hair today and I had to just change my clothes because I went to the store really fast. Did I already say that? Yeah. And then I had to get out to go get what I needed, which was milk. And then I had to change because I was soaked. So anyway, let's get started, okay? I haven't counted these. I don't know how many there are. Maybe I'll count them all at the end. These are all of my active whips. I do have a few that I've, I've given up that I'll show because um, they're just right here. That's not a give up. But some are. So anyway, let's get started. Number one. This is my coffee. I'm going to put it down here. Number one, uh, Plum Street Samplers, 12 Days of Christmas. This was from, what was this released? November 2015, maybe? Available on the Plum Street Samplers blog. Maybe I'll try to link stuff below. I make no promises, but this is where I'm at. I've gotten up to the sixth day. Um, this is on a 25 count. Lugana, I believe. Um, it, I think it's a piece that I got from the Rainbow Stitchery when they were going out of business. This is it. Um, I'm doing this with the Gentle Art Cherry Wine, Endive, and something in gold. I think I said last year I wanted to get that done this year. I think I said this year I wanted to get it done this year. I just don't know if it's going to happen. Gold leaf. In the weeks, maybe a week's gunmetal or maybe gassed onyx. It might end up being both because I don't know that I have enough onyx to keep it going. But there's that. Whip number one 12 days, concrete samplers. Still love it. Number two was a mania start this year. It is my Adam and Eve Chatelaine. Stitched on a 32 count Belfast raw linen. If you remember, this is where I hurt my thumb and I couldn't stitch. That's all I have done. It's a sad, sad start. But look at those. These threads are so pretty. exactly sure what that is either. It's a silk of some sort. I purchased the kit through European Cross Stitch. I purchased the pattern from the Chatelaine website. It is digital, obviously. Um, I don't have a picture of what it looks like completed. You only have to Google that if you really want to. Tracy P. also started it. She's way farther than I am. Number three, Brooks Books Advent Animals, also a freebie on, um, excuse me, the Brooks Books website. I gave up on this hardcore, not a give up, but I, I just, I got burned out on it when I started it, I guess. So this is where we're at. Katie Kitty, Peter Polar Bear, and I started Mary Mouse, and Mary for some reason just really irritated me. So I stopped, but I'd like to finish because I'm doing it all on one piece. 
Um, this is on, picture this plus opalescent arctic. Nope, helix, crystal helix, 16 count Ada. All in DMC. I do love it. My hope from doing this whip parade is to get really excited about some things that I haven't really touched, like physically with my fingers touched in a long time. Because, come on now, it's time to get her done, right? And then maybe I won't want to buy anything because I'm like, oh my god, I forgot I had this. Side note, I was watching, and I haven't gotten all the way through it, and maybe I did get through that one, but Tracy P did a video where she was kind of just going through all of her charts, and she's like, oh my god, I forgot I had that. Oh my gosh, why am I not stitching this? Maybe I need to do one of those, too, because I have an entire box of charts and things that I have kitted that I've probably forgotten about. That'd be fun. Would that be fun? I don't know. Number, what is this, four? I don't even know. See, I lost count. I just need to not try. Um, Alice in Wonderland from Bothy Threads. This was the kit that I bought from Adele. She had purchased it, decided she wasn't going to stitch it, so I was like, heck yeah. Um, it's on an opalescent piece of even weed from Chromatic Alchemy, I think is what she said to me. I just worked on this recently. Um, I worked on this for Jesse Marie's birthday challenge. Oh, I lost two bitchy nose. And I had it on vacation. So not even done quite yet with page one. I sure do love it, though. You can see... Um, this is the smoke, and this is the caterpillar's pipe. And does anybody else, when they see the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland, think of Alan Rickman? Like, I can hear that voice of velvet. Oh, what a loss. Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. This was a mania start. Somebody had asked me about this, so I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you where this pattern came from. It's Art Deco Fox by uh, Doreen Jones. You can see it right here from the World of Cross Stitch number two two nine. And this I started after I had my thumb issue, and working on the blue Ada was just too much for me. It hurt my fingers so badly. Um, my finger is still, it's a lot better. See? See that bump? It's like a scar. Um, it's still really sensitive. Like it feels like a big callus underneath there, but it's not really, and I don't have any feeling in that one spot, but whatever. So this is a 14 count blue Ada that I just found in my stash. That's, oh my god, nothing really to write home about. Uh, Crystal Fiber Artsy just finished this. So cute. Hers is adorable. Maybe mine will be just as adorable. I don't know about this one. This is Autumn Goddess from... Joan Elliott. This is as far as I got. This was, a, I think, a mania start last year. So I started in the middle. This is her nose, and this is a cheek. I don't remember what what stitch along I used for the cheek, but um, I think I have a picture of her. Let me find it. She's beautiful, and I was enabled to buy this from somebody that had done, like, the moon. Here it is. Um beautiful. Fa Father Moon, maybe? He was blue. No. No. Moon Goddess, somebody did. His father... Maybe it's Father... I don't know. Somebody did something of one of these, and I was like, I need those, and I wanted them all, and I think I got two or three. Um, I don't... It's boring. It's boring boring to me and probably just because I'm working on the face. So I was working my way out 
on the cheeks so that I could get to some of the flowers because, oh, she's upside down, because bow ring. So I don't, I don't know exactly how I feel about this one. I do want to fold it on the inside. So here's a little fun fact. When I'm folding up my projects, I try really hard not to fold them in like straight in the middle, straight lines, and I always put my stitching to the inside. It's a quilting trick that my quilting teacher taught me um, to always put your the face of your quilt on the inside, and that way if something like if it gets dirty or something splashes on it, it's on the back, so it's easier cleaned or hidden. And also, um, folding something repeatedly right in the middle makes the fabric weaker there. That's why when I do quilts, I don't, and I have to seam backing, I don't make it directly in the middle if I can help it because it makes the seam weak. Whatever. Beautiful sea sail. I'm kind of getting the itch to, to start working on this again, especially because Eric was so awesome to me and sent me the whole entire PDF after he took all of the pieces off his Facebook group and I, and I missed the post saying, hey, stitch along's over, I'm going to take down these charts. And then apparently somebody was really pissy with him and he posted about it and then I was like, holy crap, I'm one of those people, not a pissy person, but one of those people that was like, for two months, dude, dude, I don't know what's going on. So he sent it to me. Very sweet man. Go spend all of your money at Ships Manor. I finished three parts and I'm working on the fourth. A lot of people have finished this. It's very pretty. This is, okay, so that Joan Elliott was done on just a piece of like off-white even weave that I got off stash alone for like dumb cheap. This is Under the Sea Fabrics. Under, under the Sea Fabrics, something, something watery, because that's what Leslie does best, right? Nyad, I think. Not for sure. Maybe if she watches, she can correct me if I'm wrong. I really need to write this crap down. Does anybody else just not write this stuff down, and then when somebody asks you, you're like, uh -huh. That's me. Death by cross stitch. A lot of, did I say a lot of these were in alphabetical order? I tend to store my whips in alphabetical order. I don't know why. So it doesn't really matter. Um, I am, this is a piece of silk. We don't waste silk, do we? No. Death by cross stitch. Also worked on this again recently, maybe for Jessie Marie's sale. I don't really recall. Um, I'm starting in the bottom left corner because I decided if I hated it, I could probably push through and finish the square motif. But I really do like it. It's on a 40 count um, white linen from Witch Out, which is why it could stand up almost on its own. And I'm using silk from Dinky Dye Silks, a Hank and Poppin plum or poppin purple I don't remember I want to say it. it's um popping poppin plum that is going to get done but I made buku progress um after I got my readers my cheater glasses oops I just dropped that silk again there's the hank I love that piece so funny. I used to say, you know, I love to just like not work and stitch all the time. And then when I had Archer, I stopped working, quit my job for almost 20 years. Do you? Th I do not have. I just don't have time. Of course, I don't know. I don't know what part of me believed that having children was somehow a vacation. Because it's not. Oops, oops. <laughs> Easter fairy. By Nora Corbett. Got this as the kit using the kitted floss, which is like crescent colors. It looks like. Is it all crescent colors? I 
There's Eastern Fairy. All crescent colors and some beads and some Krynek. This also I worked on while I was on vacation for Jessie Marie's sale. See, so I'm trying. That's as far as I got. It's part of her dress. Not very much. You can see a lot of these I folded, right? Like I said, I don't like to fold. I'm such a hypocrite. Hypocrites. That's me. Easter Fairy. Fibery Friends. This one I feel like I also worked on. I don't know for what though. Oh wait. No, this was not the one that I worked on. Fibery Friends. I haven't worked on this in a super long time actually. It was a stitch along that had to do with a wheel in Stitch Mania and I don't remember what it was, but this is as far as I got. I did do the spinning wheel. I love this. Why, why am I not stitching these things? Somebody tell me. Whoa, hi kitty. Great. You want to say hi? Cat interlude. Hi. You can't, you can't be here. Okay, can you get down? There's no room for you. Where do you want to go? She wants to look out the window, probably, but I've got stuff everywhere. Oh, uh, uh -huh. Full Moon Sal by The Primitive Hair. I can't remember who it was now that enabled me to buy this, but it was somebody on Stitch Mania. I'm using um, Isabella's fabric, of which I think it has a name, and I don't remember what it's called now, but it's coffee dyed. And I actually finished the January one. I'm sure I did it for a January sale. It's as far as I got. So pretty. I love this uh, linen. It's a 30 count linen, whatever the primitive hair dyes herself. I got it from her in Italy. Is that where she's from? Sure, why not? Italy is what we'll say. And um, it makes my stitches so pretty. Like my stitches are not this pretty. I mean, they obviously are because they're on here, but it's this linen. It's like unicorn magic. So, there's a lot of that left. There's a lot of that left. Maps. Kitty, you're such a big photo bomber. Sorry. Where are you going, please? I know you don't want to sit next to the dog. Okay. Um, Garden Cat by Satsuma Street. This I think was a Mania start last year too, and I've only worked on it one other time. And I am, okay, so Fibery Friends was on a piece of pink linen that I think I got from Rainbow Stitchery two whips ago. This is on a piece of linen. I think it's that like super linen that has acrylic or something in it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. What? But this is as far as I am. Got that little flower and this is like the sun I think. It's so pretty. Why am I not stitching these things. Starting all the things and finishing none of the things. Giant Harry Potter. This was a mania start for 2016 and then a restart for 2017. Stitching this on a piece of 32 count Jobelin in Sandcastle. Loving it so much more than I did before. As far as I am, just that top left corner. Um, I do, I'm working kind of slow on this because I do plan on um, converting some of those colors to be a little more true to the books. Okay. 
and I kind of need to peer around and see what other people are doing too because I like to copy. Why reinvent the wheel? Work smarter, not harder. Green, flip it from Lizzie Kate. This I've only worked on a couple times. This is what the entire piece will look like. I think I got these on stash on load, really cheap. And I'm doing this on a 28 count linen, it looks like, of unknown origin. That's as far as I got. I am doing this in uh, DMC. Love that one. Let's get back at this. Does somebody want to come and just stitch all this stuff for me? Just come on over and stitch it up real fast. FFO it too because apparently I don't do those things either. And then, um, yeah, we'll be best friends. Gwen from Mirabilia. I have a few of these bewitching pixies. I don't know if I like them as much as I did before. We've all seen her. We all love her. She's in, in a green dress. Green is my favorite color. First Mira that I started. And then I saw Tracy going through her pixies and I was like, I don't really know if I want to do all those. Um, she is on a 32 count linen in desert sand, I believe. I think I got that from Rainbow Stitchery as well. A good chunk of her done, right? Just starting to put in some of the green. I don't know if you can see it. It's not all black. There's some emerald green in there too. Folded all ridiculous like. Liker. I just don't know if I would do anything with those. Maybe stash unloaded. Gypsy Queen by Mirabilia. I've only seen a couple of these actually finished. She is a beast. God, those colors and the beads. And, um. She is being stitched on 32 count linen in Buttercup from Under the Sea Fabrics in Opalescent. So I'm just getting all opalescent. That's as far as I got on her. Like nothing. Pretty sure that's all DMC right now. I haven't even gotten to any specialty threads. It's the saddest day ever. take me the rest of my life to stitch all this. Happily Ever After. Um, Emma Congdon, it looks like, from, let me have my working copy, from Cross Stitch Crazy something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which uh, which it was. Cross Stitch Crazy. I think it was on the cover. That's what it looks like. Uh, who was doing this one? Colvin, I believe, was doing this one. I might be wrong, but I think that was it. Uh, the last time I worked on this, this was the last night of the election challenge in November. Why is my phone ringing? as I got. Let's we'll get the phone. Hang tight. Hi there. I'm great. How are you? I am home. Uh-huh.
just to make sure that they don't murder you. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I, yeah. I can definitely call 911 should it look like you're not emerging. Okay. Okay. Kevin, okay. Oh goodness. Kevin from Garden City, gotcha. In a pickup, okay. Well, I, uh, I've got my, my curtains wide open, so I will be on the lookout. What time is it right now? Like 9.30? Okay. All right. I'll be on the lookout. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. I was thinking that I was going to edit that out, but it's kind of funny. So my neighbor next door, she's selling some things on Craigslist, like big items, like a piano and her first long arm and this I think is a weight bench <laughs> and so she's been calling me because she's home alone you know while her husband is working and she's like if they murder me will you call 911 absolutely I can do that so Kevin Garden City pickup truck of unknown color coming at 10 which is 25 minutes from now you guys keep track of that if she doesn't emerge afterwards I have to call 911 That's what friends do for friends. Gotta look out. Okay. Happily ever after. Emma Congdon. Cross stitch crazy something. Oh, 18 count opalescent Ada. I don't even know why I'm stitching that. I think I had an idea that, that I would make that like a wedding sampler for us or something. I'm not even sure if I really like it anymore. That might be something that I retire. Who knows? Okay. Happy Everything by Diane Arthur. Really wanted this after Katie, the stash queen, finished it. It looks like this. It's so cute. I do like this. On a linen and of unknown origin, probably, I think a lot of my unknown fabrics came from Rainbow Stitchery. This is as far as I got. I did work on this for a challenge last year because I remember taking it with me to Boyne when my husband and I went. Maybe it was the election challenge? It had to do with letters, I think. Yes, it was in November and it was just a couple days before the election because it was right around our anniversary and our anniversary is November 6th. So, there you go. Let's get back to that. I love that piece. I love it. I don't know if I'm going to love all that backstitch, but I love it. Um, Home of a Quilter by Told in a Garden. I was watching um, Nell from Little Yellow House Crafts, and she had shown her Told in a Garden. And I was like, oh, I really need to work on that. So... So cute. This is on a blue linen from Rainbow Stitchery. I do know. I think it's a 28 count. Looks like a 28 count. I've done so very little. It's a bird outside. I think it goes this way. It's as far as I'm at. Not very much. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is just never on my radar to pull out. I'm not a big fan of the fabric, um, but I love the design. I like the color of the fabric. That linen is just, just before I really knew anything about the kind of fabrics I liked. And Rainbow Stitchery, a lot of us know, went out of business and was selling stuff for, like, stupid cheap. And so I just thought, well, I'm just going to beef up my stash of fabric. 
she did. In the meadow. This is so old. This was actually a restart, but um, I started this back in like 2002. It's from Just Cross Stitch, December 2002, and it is the cover piece. In the meadow, doing it on an 18 count piece of Ada that I purchased specifically for this. I obviously got a very much bigger piece and I had started it and got pretty far and then the dog that we had at the time, Sasha, ate it along with my scroll frame. She was the naughtiest dog. I've talked about her before. Sasha was um, an Alaskan Malamute Husky mix and we lived in the city on a stupid corner lot that was teeny tiny with no fenced yard next to a really, really busy road. The people that let us adopt her from the Humane Society were idiots for letting us do that. We had never owned a dog before. She had been returned several times because she's very high energy. She was eight months, 80 pounds, smart as a whip. She was so smart, but she was very high energy. It was before I knew anything about dogs. And a dog like that is like a working dog, right? We didn't have any work for her. So she was very naughty, very destructive, ran through our screen door once, and after several weeks in dog training, we took her back to the Humane Society. It was the only animal that I've ever um, adopted and then didn't keep forever. <laughs> she, she had to go back. They were very happy to see her. I don't know what they were thinking. I kind of blame them. We were just stupid. But, so I restarted this, I think, for Stitch Mania 2016. I'm not certain, though. Um, and this is as far as I've gotten. So, all of this is going to be white. This was um, salvaged fabric from that. I, like, cut off what she'd eaten, and I still had enough, which was great. So, this is all, I think it's Weeks Dye Works. I did have to switch out the white. No. I think it was charted for weeks and I didn't have enough. So I ended up getting a uh, general art oatmeal. Ooh, it's so washed out right now. There we go. And then, I don't know, this might be weak. It doesn't matter. So all of that fat snowman needs to be filled in still. So I'd like to have it done. I mean, how cute is that? It's not a hard stitch. It's just a lot. And the little tassels. Uh, my friend that, um, my, my friend and I did this together. She's not my friend anymore, but we did it together. She finished hers fairly soon, and she uh, framed it. She got it framed years ago. Like I said, I started that originally in 2002, so it was probably in 2003. She, like, went gangbusters and got that all done, and it was great. And it's very cute, and I would like to have that done still after all these years. I love it. Little Sheep Virtues. So this was new. A new start for Mania. I just talked about it, but I'll show it to you again. This is the piece that um, somebody designed, and I can't... I probably can tell you who it is. Because I hate to not give credit, because she did an amazing job. And... Um, Pat Carson. I'm sure you all know Pat Carson, right? There is a stitch along where they will provide the um, border to do all 12 Little Sheep Virtues plus in the middle of that is Sheep in the Meadow. All from Little House Needleworks. Yes. It's just like that. You can't even see it. See? Um... She'll give it to you for free. You just have to go find the group. I'll try to put it in there. If you do, if you join the cross stitch buy and sell group on Facebook, I think she mods that group. You can maybe you can find it there. I don't know. I just know there's a stitch along. And Tina, 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 somebody, Tina, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I don't know that you're floss too watcher or maker. Um, she's the one who seems to be in charge of sending it. Nell is also doing this. She is uh, killing it. So there might be a link on Nell's most recent oh, I got something in my eye. Nell's most recent 
thing. Anyway, um, this is as far as I got. So I was stitching and then my fabric was gross and I washed the fabric. I never got back to it and that's where we're at. So cute. Seeing Nels when she's just going crazy. Um, the first one I'm working on is Hope and I am thinking of doing all the sheep because there's lots of sheep because it's little sheep virtues. I'm thinking about doing all the sheep in Whisper. I kind of want to do that. I don't have any of the buttons either. Nell just showed all the buttons that she got from Jabco and I'm kind of interested in that. But since it's going to be 50 years since I get it done, I'm not going to worry about buying those right now because money. Um, I hope this goes in there. The next one, let me just put that empty bag in there. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten yet today. I know this is running. Perfect. The next one is Miss Valentine from Mirabilia. I got obsessed with these. Do you remember like two years ago and I was all, stitching fairies is stupid. Remember that? So this came with fabric and threads. So I believe this is like a 32 count, just raw linen. I believe it was a mania start for 2016. Well, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Yep. those creases. Yeah, this is why we don't bend stuff in half. Trisha Lynn, what is wrong with you? Especially if you're going to start something and never finish it. Grr. Oh. Okay. Mysterious Halloween Town from the Frosted Pumpkin. I bought this at the same time that I bought um the Mysterious Christmas Town, and I did finish Christmas Town at the end of 2015, I believe. Tracy and I were racing to stitch that. She won because she stitches so fast. She doesn't have kids that don't sleep. So I started, I started this, I believe, for Stitch Mania 2016. So I got a little bird and a little pumpkin. And it came with a kit, so this is Crystal Wren 28 count from Picture This Plus, and it's so cute. And boy, I need to work on that, don't I? There you go. at the ends now and we're like halfway there right there's no place like home this is from fiddlesticks au this was i know i worked on this i don't know when i worked on this i feel like i worked on this for the election challenge but i don't think i did it it was a different one maybe it was a mania star god i don't know i do have the stuff written down um, also, on the opalescent 18 count Ada that I hate, that's as far as I have. Fiddlesticks AU on Etsy. I don't think that I have, I don't know that I have a picture of it to show you. Because I think I just printed the pattern because it was a digital download. Yeah, I don't have it. You'll have to just trust me on it. Or I will try to insert the link again, like I said. Make no promises. I may forget that as soon as I say it. Okay. I really thought I had more of that done. This one, so uh, the ruby slipper is in it, along with like the poppies and Toto. And the ruby slipper is charted, obviously, as the ruby slipper, but I purchased Petite Treasure Braid and Silver to do this, a silver slipper, like the books. Oh. This is the Owl Stitch Along from KLT Charting. I 
I'm pretty sure this is never going to get done. I was doing it one over one on 28 count Monaco for a Mo sale. I only have three done. And I really don't know that I'm going to go beyond this. They're cute, but one over one on 28 is not my favorite. One over one on 25, I enjoy much more. I was going to try to do them in birthstone colors, but I just don't care now. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's cute, and I could just cut those off and make like a little teeny tiny something. Like a little pillow, a little small, and call it a day. And maybe I'll do that. Um, but I was using mostly most sale glosses. I've got a lot right here. There's a Threadworks that I found. Or maybe I'll just pick out some of my favorites. Like there was a black work one that I was really excited about. Maybe I'll just pick out a few more and like six. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm not very excited about that. Oz uh, Cityscape. And Jody Rice. This I pulled when it was in Cross Stitch Crazy. Somebody was just talking about this on Stitch Mania. It is available on her Etsy shop now, from what I understand. Um, it's just a little snippet of what it's going to look like. I've worked on this a few times. I just don't really know that I like it. There's an error in it somewhere. I must have fixed it because I think it was above here somewhere. But this is as far as I am. I should just finish it. But I don't like this opalescent Ada. It's just a bad idea. I got a lot done. Not tons. I don't know. I think it would be so pretty on this fabric. Or it looks dirty. I guess I need to think about that some more. That doesn't happen very often um, on my street. You get a lot of ambulances. Okay. Oz Mystery Sampler from Pedal Pusher. I have got to get back to this one. Oh my god. Did... Barb. Barb. Garrett finished this. Lolly finished this, I believe. I don't know who else finished this. Um, it's as far as I've gotten. Mm, for some reason, this just really, oh, isn't it funny? Oops. I don't know. I'm just never pulled to this. But those colors are gorgeous. I mean, obviously not these ones because it's like black and white. So, you know. Oh, and this is a uh, 28 count linen from Fabrics by LJ, and I think this is Earthen. Do I have what it is? It was right when he first started dying. I think I say that every time I pull out this piece. I think this is Earthen. I don't know. That's what I'm going to say. But it was pretty, like I stared at this piece, I'm like, what am I ever going to do with this piece of linen? And then that came up, and it looks really good on it. So, yay. Panoply of Peacocks from Tempting Tangles. Tempting Tangles is my jam. She's got some great stuff. So this, I started, I think I started for Stitch Mania last year. This is just as far as I've gotten um, I was inspired by Mackenzie at the Lovely Array because she did Peacock Pinwheels. I don't know that her Peacock Pinwheels is even done yet, but I didn't want to be, yeah, I didn't want to be just like her. I didn't want to quite be a copycat, so I went with something a little different. So, yeah, I've done that pee and I've started one of those little peacock tendrils. Um, a one over one on 28 count. Again, not my favorite. On white, which I'm 
really don't like because you really can't carry your threads very much because you can see it. But maybe when I finish it, never, if I frame it just right, you won't be able to tell. Panoply of peacocks, tempting tangles. Paradise Lost. That was just a mania start for this year. Paradise Lost by Paulette at Plum Street. Boy, I could not think of what it was. So that's what it looks like. I am doing this on an even weave. I think it's a Lugana. Oh, I have it right here. Cream Lugana 32 count. Just was working on this. Just to start as far as I got. Little Angel in the upper left hand corner. I sure do love it though. It's so big, guys. This is so big. This year for Mania, I started like stupid large projects. It's gonna be my fabric is 32 by 18. Oh my gosh. That is gonna take me forever. I might as well be stitching hands. Peacock Majesty. This was a Mania start last year that I have never touched again. Um, I purchased an entire, the entire project kitted up on eBay because it was, I thought it was beautiful. So, and then I got like really super like, oh my god, I can't do this. Yes, I can. Um, I don't think that, yeah, this is not that difficult. Well, maybe it is. It has tons of specialty stitches in it. Just Nan, Peacock Majesty. Did I say that? This is what it looks like. And it came all kitted up, I think, from an LNS. And with the fabric, which is a 28 count greenish something or other. Dark teal green from Zweigart, 28 count cashel. Yep. So I'm assuming that's what it is. This is as far as I got. Like, that's nothing. I should be trying to pick that up. They have specialty stitches in it, and for some reason, it that bothered me. Like, remember when I did that uh, Dinky Dyes sampler? I have all four of the seasons. And I finished the one, the spring one, and it had a lot of specialty stitches in it, and I did just fine. But for some reason, specialty stitches are, like, mind-screwing me right now. Prairie Schooler 2004 Santa that I started with uh, Jill Simswink. Um, we did the one with the Singer sewing machine in December and finished though yeah she finished hers too and then we started this one in December too um I have not gotten very far at all I'm like right here it looks like a grim from Harry Potter and I'm stitching all of mine on 18 count Fiddler's Ada which I love for these I'm gonna pick that up again maybe this Christmas or December just for Christmas. Winterish. Winter. This winter. Oh my gosh, we're getting there. <sighs> Pretty Peacock. This is a Shannon Christine design, I want to say is her name, right? This was in the world of cross stitching. Which has no date on it. So, it's from the world of cross-stitching. You're going to just have to find it, I guess. Shannon Christine Designs. She just released an owl to go with it that I really want. There's like a crap ton of beads on here in back-stitching. But it's beautiful. There's only three kinds of beads, but there's a lot of them. And I'm doing this on a 28 count even weave that I got from Stash Unload. That's it. That's all I have. What in tarnation? Nope. 
some reason, this one really intimidates me, too. I think part of the reason is that it's a color chart, which bothers me, even though it was a PDF. There's a lot of backstitch. I don't know what my problem is. Maybe one day when I grow up and I'm a real stitcher, it's getting brighter out. I will uh, be able to do that. Promise Me by Lizzie Kate. This one I just had out for vacation and I did like 20 stitches on it. I love this. I want to turn this into a birth sampler for my son, though I'm not sure if that's going to happen because I cut my fabric and I can make that work. Um, using my own colors. This is like that 27, I think this is that 27 count like flax linen or whatever it's called super linen I don't know some crappy linen for my stash but it's okay and that's as far as I got when I was on vacation I think I did the key and then you apostrophe I'm pretty sure that's what I got done also a super cute piece that would not take very long I mean Lizzie Kate's designs are Pretty not intense. I don't know if they're easy. It's easy as cross stitches, but they're not. There's not a lot of backstitch. There's words for me are pretty easy. And they go fast. Oh dear. Red bird fractor. Oh, I'm stuck. Help me. My whips have landed on me. Got my arm. Red bird fractor is what I purchased when I was in Orlando and went to the LNS with Tracy P. Um, I kitted this up plus one other project, but this is the one that she and I started together. And as in together, I mean like two days after we went shopping, but I was still in Orlando. So that tells me that we, we started it together. So that's what it's going to look like. This is by... Who is this by? Kat, is it Kathy Barrett? Does it stay, does it stay on the front? Every tractor? No. With thy needle and thread. Isn't that Kathy Barrett? I don't know. Don't quote me. Because I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, so I am stitching it on something. I think this is a 32 count in espresso from r, r Linen, maybe? r, r Reproductions, is that what it's called? And I just have the start of the bird's nest in the middle. This was also the piece that I was working on and then I snotted on. Do you remember that? Like my, my nose was dripping because I got sick while I was on vacation. And I was stitching, and it, like, dripped out of my nose. I can't find it now. There's a couple of places. And it was like, oh, well, it's clear, so it's like, no big deal. I know that's kind of gross. No big deal. And then it actually discolored my fabric. And somebody said, oh, can't you just try to, like, use water and rinse it out? I don't think so. I think that my snot bleached it. So, again, word to the wise. If you have sinus issues... You may just want to keep that in mind when you're switching stiff, like, tissue up your nose or something. Okay, I just have to do a quick shape down here. I'm getting towards the end, and I'm taking from the bottom and then putting on the top so they all stay in alphabetical order. It's just getting a little crazy up and hurt. Okay, save the stitches. This is one that I started, and it's also a little bit of a mind bend for me. Um, I first saw this from Mackenzie at the Lovely Array. I am doing this on a 25 count white Lugana, because I think that's what um, Elizabeth Almond had suggested. Maybe a 28, but I'm doing it on 25, because I figured you could see the black work better. God, this is gorgeous. I haven't even finished the first block yet. This is where I'm at. 
Um, the one that I have just started, like right here, for some reason I'm, I was having a really hard time figuring that out. So I got a little not happy, and then um, and then the whole thing happened. I'm not even going to go into it, whatever. So I got disenchanted and stopped. But, oh, and this motif is supposed to go down here, but I stitched it in the wrong place, and oh well, it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, save the stitches. Elizabeth Almond, going to be huge. First saw it from Mackenzie. Hers is gorgeous. Sorry, just hit you. And she has it framed, and it's beautiful, and I love it. And I'm doing the called for um, colors, which is just the black and then the metallics. And I'm using Krynic instead of um, DMC Light Effects because... So I kind of, Nell is working on this one too. She is killing it. She must just not sleep or she has children that sleep because she is doing such great work and she's such a busy girl. She's got lots of stuff going on. I'm apparently just a really bad organizer and my kids don't sleep. There's that kid. It doesn't sleep. Okay, save the stitches. Oh, boy, that's a good one. Scandinavian Christmas sampler. This was a Stitch Mania 2017 start. <sighs> Doing this on 28 count Lugana with silks from Silks for You on Etsy. Sun came out, yay! As far as I got. That was just like one day of work. I don't remember now. That's pretty recent. Love it. In my mind, I'm like, oh, I'd love to have that done for Christmas so I can hang it up. But then the realist in me is laughing maniacally and like, go on with those dreams. Snow Buddy 2. I'm not doing this. I've decided already. I was working on this um, for a challenge of some sort. It's on a 14 count Ada. I purchased this in the threads like 100 years ago. Not 100, but at least 10. Um, 1997 is the copyright, but I know I bought it after that. Snow Buddy 2. And I was working on the scarf, and it has 5,000 fractional stitches. And I was like, nope. No, not even closely. No. So that's, um, yeah, nope. That's going to go away. Strike that. You didn't see it. Put that in the bad pile. I don't, I don't even want to do that one anymore. I'm not interested in it. Snowy Owl, which is a Mill Hill kit. I started this for the Olympics challenge. Um, was it Summer Olympics? Winter Olympics. Winter Olymp I don't know. One of the Olympics. I think it was the Winter Olympics. It was a oh, that, that Facebook Stitch Mania challenge. Whatever. So the challenge was to start three pieces in one day, and I started three Mill Hill kits. So this is one of them. Snowy Owl. I think it's a gym, yeah, it's a gym shore. Um, I know Jesse from Jesse Marie Does Stuff, I think, has this one. As far as I got. Not very far. Spirited Mandala from Ink Circles. I think this is a Mania start one here too. I purchased the fabric from this um, during my first Picture This Plus sale, Christmas in July. 
And then when I got it, I was like, why did I buy this fabric? I don't even understand. And it was for this project. So I did start it. I kind of like it. This is as far as I've gotten, which is not very. I've worked on this a couple times. I don't even know for what or when, but I have worked on it. In the damn middle. So that's it. Um, I am, so this fabric, what is this fabric? Picture this plus. Can I have the tag? Opalescent, 32 count, eek, crystal eek, and I am using Mo's Sale threads that came in like her Halloween uh, mystery package. This is the first mystery package that she did. So I have like a crap ton of these because a chart came in the mystery pack with fabric and all the floss, and it was just this huge um, silhouette, and I wasn't really. I wasn't digging it. So um, I have doled out that floss for other things, including this. My stomach is eating itself. I'm so hungry. Okay. Uh, spooked Mystery Stitch Along from Lizzie Kate. I purchased the kit. I'm pretty sure when it was pre. There's a pre-order. It's on 32 count ale from Picture This Plus. I haven't worked on this in a while. But I did finish part one and I have worked on part two. This is so cute. Really enjoy it. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. The rain stopped. We need a lot more rain than this. The yard is brown. Okay. Um, Spring Butterfly by Alessandra Adelaide. Oh, I never even showed what that one was supposed to. I'm not going to go back. It's going to be cute. So Spring Butterfly, I had in a magazine, just cross-stitch, March, April 2013. So I think that I had this pattern from my digital subscription. And I don't remember if I had it pulled and I wanted to do it before or after I saw Pyrex Stitches, Claire from Pyrex Stitches, finish hers. I started mine for Stitch Mania. I think, did I start mine for Stitch Mania? I know that I worked on it during the Winter Olympics for gold. I don't know. Who knows what, what I started this for. Fire isn't here yet. No, I haven't seen a scary truck yet to come murder my friend. So this is as far as I am at. Um, this is a 32 count uh, linen in As You Wish from Under the Sea Fabrics. So the butterfly body is done and then it's just white for the wings. And there's a lot of those. And I don't know, am I using B5200? No, 3865 is what I'm using, which is almost white. That's pretty. I do like that piece. I'm gonna say it's cool. I pulled it out for a recent challenge. Maybe I just didn't get to it. I think I pulled this out for Jessie Marie's challenge. Or it's the magazine. It's the magazine challenge that Heather Stitches is doing. I pulled it out for that. I don't, I've don't. fallen off the magazine bandwagon. Spring Delivery from Plum Street Samplers. This is the adopted whip that I got from Stephanie at Lindy Stitches. This is what it looks like. She had started it, did a few color conversions. I have done more on it, but I really, like, I feel bad that I haven't finished this yet. She's still done most of the work. I think I've done a leaf and I've done some of the dots and maybe a flower and then the horse and planter. 
far as we're at. Um, this is a 36 count linen from Silk Weaver. Uh, I don't know if it actually has a color or not. She couldn't remember if it did or not. So it's just the way it is. So that I really would like to get back to because it is such a pretty piece and I love it. And she gave it to me, so I really want to finish it. Spring has sprung. This is a chart that I got from Heather Stitches Year of Giving. I was the January winner last year. Um, this is from Count Your Blessings Cross Stitch. I don't know. It's probably out of print. I can't ever find it anywhere. Um, I'm using my own colors. And it is on, yeah, 14 Count Ada from Fabrics by LJ, which also came in my package um, in Arendelle. I did, I had pulled this out for something recently. It's, yeah, I, I still have a lot left. Like, I, every time I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have that much left. But I really do. There's still quite, there's still quite a bit left to do. Still quite a bit left to do. It wouldn't be hard. I just need to do it. And I'm using all my own colors. And I was trying to use some of my DMC variegated. Um, you can see them right here. But some of those colors don't work. So Spring Quakers from Rosewood Manor. I just had this one out too. I mentioned how hungry I am. I am still so hungry. Um, Rosewood Manor Spring Quakers. I am using the Valdani threads and I am stitching it on a 28 count Jovelin in Time. T H Y M E from Witch Out. This is one I had to actually fix. Fix and finish this upper Quaker, and I still don't think I'm done with it, and I don't remember what challenge I had it out for, um, but I was a, I don't expect any of you to remember this, but when I started it, I think I started it for Stitch Mania 2016, and I had done a bunch, and then was doing this middle red, and I was like a stitch off, and I was so mad, I was like, I'm not fixing it. I had to rip out a lot to fix it, but I fixed it. Um, I do think that there are a couple more like single stitches that connect these and I'm not even sure if I'm going to go in and do those because it looks beautiful the way it is. So that's as far as I am on that. There he is. truck. Hold on, I just have to test her. <laughs> She's texting me too. I have to look. I'm sorry. He's wearing a blue shirt. He has blonde hair. I'm telling all of you so that you're all witnesses. And he's got a, a big black truck. It looks really nice. And it looks like it says ZZ1 on it. And I know absolutely nothing about trucks. He doesn't look like a serial killer, but nobody said that about Ted Bundy either, right? Okay, I feel like we're never going to be done. Super califragilistic expialidocious. God, on the cursed 18 count Ada. This is from Fiddlesticks AU. I do not have a picture of it. But 
again, I will try to link some stuff. I haven't worked on that in a while, but it's really cute and I would like to. Tree of hope. Like, I hope I can get it out of here from Mirabilia. This I worked on in March as part of a stitch from stash stitch along. I didn't work on it a lot. Um, actually, I got a lot done. I think I only, I did get a lot done. I only had like half of the tree trunk done and I did get a lot done. Look at that. So pretty. Tree of hope. Let me show you what that's going to look like. This is probably of the five mirrors I have um, started. This is the one I'm most excited about. So this I'm doing on a piece of Picture This Plus 28 count. It looks like Lugana. It's definitely. And what? Let me see if I have the tag. I do have the tag. 28 count Jubilee in Nocturne from Picture This Plus. So, I love it. Let's get back at that. I feel like my shining moment as a stitcher, when I look at all of my whips, would be finishing a mirror. Like, then I would feel like I've really done something with my life. Is that weird? Um, this is the Way to Happiness Stitch Along from Jardine Privé. This is a freebie on her blog. I am stitching it. I'll try to link it because, of course, I don't have a picture. Because why would I? I didn't print one. Um, I am stitching it on 28 count linen in peanut butter and jelly. Yes, Fabrics by LJ Peanut Butter and Jelly. And this is as far as I've gotten. There's like 5,000 mistakes in this first part one. Um, I did work on this for, I think it was for the February freebie stitch along that Heather, um, Heather and Cross My Stitch Susan, or maybe it was just Heather was doing this one and Cross My Stitch Susan was doing the magazine one. I don't really remember now. Yeah, anyway. Um, freebie February, which is still active and there's still so many links to free charts. So you should probably look that up on Facebook, Freebie February, Heather Stitches. Twisted Band Sampler by Northern Expression. I always get this wrong. Northern Expressions Needlework. Always get it wrong. This is what it looks like. This is the specialty stitches version. There is just a cross stitch version out there. Um, I know Teresa Little Stitcher, I believe, is working on the cross stitch version. It's beautiful. She's using silks. I am not. Um, I'm just using DMC. This is on a 32 count antique white Jobelin. I think I've worked on this for two or three different stitch alongs and pfft, I don't even have the first corner done yet. Like seriously, I need to get out of this. But again, I never am drawn to it because the specialty stitches are for some reason just screwing with me. I haven't even gotten to the fat, to the specialty stitches on this one and I'm all, oh my God, specialty stitches, I'm drinking. And I still need tissue. Oh, okay. Coffee's good and cold now. So cold, I could feel the cold going down my throat. What do you think of that? Okay, we're so close. Then the W's. Uh, with thy needle, this I purchased at um, my LNS when I realized we had one um, when they were in a neighboring town, and now they've moved a little farther away. And I haven't been to the new place. I got there right when they were having a moving sale. She had purchased um, a quilt shop and was moving her business into the quilt shop. She had, she wanted to 
to have a clothes shop too, I guess. And um, I just haven't made it out there because it's like 40 minutes away and you know, that's not a lot, but for me it is. So anyway, I purchased that and kitted it up and I am using 36 count Mellow from Picture This Plus that I got there. And this and it looks like I'm doing it one over two. That's as far as I got, which I think is either her butt or her shoulder. I'm not even for sure. This is so pretty. And then I just didn't work on it anymore. Just move that. Oh. Why am I not working on these things? to see this is what I was hoping that would get me kind of excited to do new things about all those super expensive threads I gotta use them I spent so much that day that was not the only thing that I put it up either but it was the only thing that I started <laughs> my neighbor says he's good should I tell her that's what they said about Ted Bundy Probably not. Oh, good. Smiley face emoji. I guess we just gotta take care of business. Okay. Uh, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Woodland Sampler. I started this for the 2016 Cross Stitch Crazy Challenge. Ow. Side note. Ow. So. Yeah, I'm sitting here, and it's very weird. For Christmas, my kids got, um, you know that kinetic sand stuff? So they also, my mom got them this rock crusher set, and it's like, um, it's like kinetic sand, but it's rocks. It's like pebbles. And I'm finding, even though I haven't let them play with it in a while, I'm still, like, stepping on pebbles. It's crazy. I've swept, like, 500 times. So this is where I'm at. This is taking forever. Um, I started February, obviously. I started, I finished January, in January 2016. Um, February, I've been working on since then. So for the last, last time I worked on this, and I don't even remember why I did, I was working on, I put in all the stars, and I used, um, Silver Krynik for that. That's what, I was looking at my art jar the other day. And I was like, why is there silver, silver chronic in here? Like, I don't remember using it. It was for this. So the stars sparkle, and then all I have to do is fill in the rest of that blue, and the February block is done. This is on 16 count Ada in Dirty that I picked up. I think I bought that at, at a 1, 2, 3 stitch. So, so cute. I know Tracy P just started this one too um, a few nights ago, and I think she's already done with February, or with January, and she'll probably be done before I get my February block done. Will you be my neighbor? By the Frosted Pumpkin. I also do not have a picture because it was a digital download. I did work on this not too terribly long ago. And I think I was just working on it because I wanted to. And I finished the bottom part, except for, um, yeah, this ball of yarn is supposed to have a face, like a little kawaii face, and I forgot about that. And then there was also, I think underneath Neighbor, there was like this patchwork line, but I hated it, and it was like 500 colors. And I was like, nope, I'm not doing that. So that's as far as I got, and then I started the grass. Um, yep. That is also, this is on the same pink linen, it's a 28 count pink linen from Rainbow Stitchery um, that I started my Fibery Friends on because my thought was that I would frame them and hang them together. So I wanted them to be matchy matchy. There's a lot of dense stitching, like you can just see like right here, that top is going to be beastie. And just a couple more. Two more. Oh my gosh. You are my sunshine from Heinzeit. Is that how you say that? Heinzeit. Heinzeit. How do you say it? This was a mania start for this year. So cute. 
I do believe that I enabled Katie the Stash Queen to purchase this. You're welcome. I'm stitching this on fog, I believe. Picture this plus fog. Uh, 20, no, 32 count linen. And this was my start. Where are my sons? Looking forward to getting back to that. It's really pretty. I like the fabric that I chose. I'll have to get some more of that someday. And last one is the Zodiac sampler from Cloud's Factory. My first huge kit that I purchased before I was, well, it wasn't before, oh man, it wasn't before I was back into cross stitch, but it was when I was getting back into cross stitch. This is on 16 count Gothic, I believe is what came with the kit from Picture This Plus. And I just recently, right before my vacation, I was working on this. And then the night that we came back, I finished up all of the middle squares. So, I am um, not using the DMC Satin. I am using Mo's Sale Milky Way, um, which is a really pretty, like, golden, green, variegated, uh, lovely. So all my middle, all my middle circles are done, and I can actually maybe do some real work. That was really exciting for me to get that part done. Uh huh. There's so much more of this to go. This was, was this their, this was their 2015 stitch along, wasn't it? It wasn't last year's stitch along. Might have been the 20, I think it was the 2015 stitch along. I bought it, I just never stitched along because something that big made me nervous. So stupid. Isn't it funny? the stuff that like freaks us out and then we're like I can't do it okay so that was all that was in this I do still have more I have things that um here's another Mill Hill kit these are things that I just found loose I was just picking them up loose um that day that I started three Mill Hill kits I think this was the other one another one that I started that I haven't gotten back to um, this is Cut Flowers from Mill Hill Button and Beads. I love it. This is as far as I am. Um, I know that I've screwed up some stuff because that's like a lot of counting and there are beads that go in there. And I think these, when they're on the perforated paper, you can totally bead as you go. Like, you don't have to follow the rules. Nobody's the boss of you. So that's what I decided. When I pick this one up again, I'm going to do some beads so that I have like place markers to put things. Bygone Stitches, One Nation. This this pile that you can't see that I'm pointing to, but it's to the left of my big tub that I just went through, are all things that I've recently touched that I want to touch again very, very soon. So One Nation by Bygone Stitches is a mania start. You saw it not that long ago. Um, I'm obsessed with this. I do plan on working on it in July. My one and only Americana piece. Show it to you again. This is on Picture This Plus something. Oops, I'm dropping things. Legacy from Picture This Plus. 32 count. Um. I'm using all of the called for threads, which is just three colors, uh, Cupid, Blacksmith Blue, and Antique Lace, all from Crescent Colors. They're stupid expensive, but if you're going to go big, you're going to go big, right? Right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. A needle. There it is. Louisiana and India. <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> um, and I'm going to work this line out right here. This is where the big blue um, 
part starts of the flag, and then at the end of Indiana, I think there's at least one more, there's one more state, maybe two, but I think just one more. And I just want to work out all the way to the edges because there's going to be like a one inch margin. YOLO. It'll be fine. Not only am I really hungry, guys, but I have to pee. Do you ever do that when you're in a video and you're like, gosh, I kind of have to pee. It's okay. Probably didn't even know that, but I thought I should share because we've been talking for almost an hour and a half. Crazy is that. Okay, so that one I'm going to be playing with soon. Um, this was also a Mania Start. This was the Sarah Davis. Sampler, um, which is digital pattern. I can't show you the picture right now. So I'm choosing all my own colors. This is as far as I've gotten. I really just want to do a little bit of each band until I get down to the bottom. It is on 36 count vintage country mocha, two over two. I want to work on this again. I really like this. It's so fun. Picking my own colors is going to be a really good time. Um, you can still buy it, Sarah Davis sampler from Stitchy Box. I thought it was Sarah Dave Davis Clonmel, but when I actually like read the information in the pattern, Sarah Davis was her name and Clonmel was the school that she was going to, I guess, when she stitched that. Kindred Spirits by the Primitive Needle. This is a pattern that I got from Abby Bella Stitch. Um, as soon as she finished it, I am doing this um, 40 count murky in Picture This Plus that I got from Jill. I'm not sure you where I'm at. Here. And I am using HDF silks. Um, from that silk haul that I got on eBay and it's black yeah it's just black 5300 and then I have a couple other HDFs that I picked um, for a little bit of color that's in it but mostly it's black one over two I pulled this out so that I could work on it I, my plan was to work on this for dark um, 13 stitching every month really comfortable. I'm just going to take a nap. Um, but yesterday was the 13th and I was working on something else. This is another Mira that I started. This is the one that I started with Kresha from Kresha Crafts. She had planned on starting this too, and then I was talking about it. And she said, oh my gosh, I have that too. And I was going to start it on Mother's Day. And then I cut my finger the day before and I couldn't, so she held off also for a week so we could start at the same time. She's way ahead of me. Mother's Arms by Mirabilia. It's out of print now. Um, it's from 1995. It is so beautiful. This is all I have done, which is not very much. And I am doing this on a 32 count antique white linen from Wichel. That, I think, was out because I thought I was missing a Krynik, and then I was going to buy it, and then I found that I wasn't missing it, so that was good. I'm itchy. This, in my So Much to Love bag that I bought like a year ago, is the Fabulous Women in History Stitch Along, the current year, current year Stitch Along from Clouds Factory that I have not worked on since February. This is as far as I am. Um, I don't know why I'm not enjoying this. I think I just need to get more into the history. I, I've been watching um, Andrea from um, Colorado. Andrea Stitches in Colorado. Something like that. Um, she is making some absolutely amazing alterations to this. And I'm going to copy every single one of them. Just so you know. 
I, history, okay, so here's the thing. History is so important, and I really wish that somebody would have, I don't know, impressed that upon me as a child. I know my mom tried. History was always her favorite subject in school. She was always reading. She always knew what was going on. I did not. I was like, go away. I don't care. And I am amazed. Ooh, wow. I am amazed at what I don't know about everything. I don't, I just don't know things. I just don't know things. So I need to learn things. Okay. Um, and now we have, oh, this one I probably need to put a I need to put a sticker on this. This was a year at Hawthorne Hollow. I just started this. This was my last mania start. It's on a 32 count linen. It's the linen that I'm using for my shadowing. I want to see what it looks like. This is the other one that I bought at my LNS. So if you look real close, you can see what my LNS is. my only Hawk Run Hollow piece so far. I love this and I bought it specifically because I love that block. It's my favorite. So I am not doing this in silks. I'm doing this with DMC and it's as far as I've gotten. Not very far. It's really big, and I thought this was probably one of the pieces that I was going to try to uh, put on those scroll frames that I purchased from Amazon for, like, stupid cheap. Remember that? I don't know if you guys remember that. Ow! It's my needle. Anyway, and it's, I think it's too wide. Maybe it was the shadowing I was going to put on there. I'm not sure that I didn't have a scroll frame big enough. So, cue snaps it is. And then I have three things in QSnaps that I've been working on. So the most recent one that I've been working on is Salem Sisters 1 from, I don't think it's called Salem Sisters 1, it's just Salem Sisters from Plum, Plum Street Samplers. Um, I do believe this is out of print now. I started this for the Salem Not Forgotten Stitch Along. Jesus, that's terrible. Um, it was Jill's idea. It was Sim Swank's idea that she talked about in a Stitch Mania thread that she started like back in October. And then we all just kind of like picked it back up again. I think she posted on it and all of a sudden everybody was like, woo! Um, and it was first to be a Salem Not Forgotten pattern on Etsy. I just heard. So next door, she's selling a weight bench, and I just heard some actual, like, bell, not barbells, but, like, something with a weight bench fall outside. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, not Forgotten Farms, maybe? Salem Not Forgotten? I don't know. It's the 325th anniversary of the Salem Witch Trials, and I was like, I have the perfect thing. I've been looking for a reason. I have all three of the Salem Sisters, but this is the one that I like the most, so this is the one that I've been working on. I started this on June 10th, so today is, what, the 14th? I've been wor I worked on it for three days, so this is where I'm at. Picked my own colors. I'm using Carrie's Creations colors, and I don't have them with me because they're probably over on my desk, but this is, I'm probably just going to work on this until it's done. Yep, love it. Uh, I've worked on my coffee Quaker, I've got my pattern on here, let me just move that a little bit. This was another thing that I was, I was working on, it's been slow going. My coffee Quaker from Heartstring Samplery, um, do I, can you see that through, you've seen it, we've all seen it, we all love it. Uh, 40 count linen in metal rue, one over two, using the called for colors. I don't really plan on switching any of them out. So I've been doing that. Little by little. Let's work on that some more. And then the other thing 
that I was working on, which now has gotten kicked to the curb, is the bird keeper from the good Huswife. I think this goes here. So this is what she looks like. She's also out of print, as is everything from the good Huswife. Emily C. finished her not that long ago. This is a uh, new year, new start that Jill and I started together. And this is as far as I am. The last time I worked on this, I did the like bird cage part of her skirt. And I finished her hair and this little hat thing. Oh, and I filled in a little bit of those, uh, those flower centers in her sweater. 30 count, 30 count, the 36 count vintage country mocha one over two using DMCs. It's still overcast, but the sun is just trying so hard to come out. So, how many was that? Did you guys keep track? I didn't. Should we count them up right now? Let's do that. Watch me count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Don't you dare. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty. 2, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 62, I have another Mill Hill on the table, 63, I think that's it, 63-ish, there we go, that's not bad, 63, that's nothing, that's like a drop in the hat, I've got to get stitching, first though, I have to get warm coffee, go to the bathroom and eat breakfast, so that was it. That was my whip parade. Yay! Thanks for sticking it out this long, guys. You're awesome. I um, actually have seen quite a few people doing whip parades. Maybe that's just the normal thing that you do after Stitch Mania. Look at all the stuff. So I've been having a lot of fun with that. It's been a good time. Um, I will try to link everything below as best as I can. This is a lot. I guess I won't upload it anytime real soon. And um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for being you. Thank you to those that make videos. Thank you to those who watch videos. Thank you to those who don't do any of the above. Just thanks. Y'all are awesome. And um, I will... My cat, she's going to knock this over. <laughs> I will... Uh, Check in with you guys next time. Bye. Hi, guys. So it's a couple days later. It's Friday uh, right now. And I was editing my video last night. That's an epic undertaking. And trying to write down all of the whips I showed. And then do links to, like, the digital patterns and stuff. So look for all of that. And I realized there was a couple more whips that I hadn't shown. So I'm going to show them to you now. One was hidden in this lovely bag from Nell at uh, Little Yellow House Crafts. It is covered in cat hair, which is my doing, not hers. <laughs> but this was a piece that I knew when I um, stopped my video, I was like, why, where is that piece? And then I realized it was hiding. So, Three Snakes in Paradise by Kathy Barrick. And this um, I purchased in Vegas at Stitcher's Paradise. Which there's her tag right there. So, 
I kitted this up with the MPI silks. It was five bajillion dollars. I picked out a fabric, which I have no idea what it is, and I worked on this not too terribly long ago, within the last few months, and this is where I'm at. And I love this piece. Look at Adam in all of his naked glory. Poor Adam. Just didn't know what you were getting into with that Eve girl. So there's a whip. And I'll put that back in my peacock bag. I love this bag. And then I have one of those Chinese kits. So I bought four of these um, trees. They're like seasonal trees. Let me see if I can find a picture. Probably ripped off from somebody's design. Because I know there are counted cross-stitch versions too. So I don't know. But I bought all four. And I think this is summer. Let me see. This is just eight. So now she's all... And I have, oh, so weird. I was using these for the color a day challenge for a while at Stitch Me on Stitch Mania. And then I stopped because it's definitely not like a go-to piece. I mean, this is what it looks like. So it's printed on 11 count fabric, almost like canvas. It's three strands um, over one, I guess, for 11 count. And I have, you. if you look, you can, like, that I did for a purple, there's a purple, um, maybe I only did it for purple. Oh, um, I started for yellow, there are some yellow stitches, but as those of you know, who, I don't, oh, there's some yellow stitches right there, there's some yellow stitches right there, now that I know what I'm looking for. Those of you that have these kits know that the color on the canvas is not the color that you're going to be stitching. So if you look under these yellows, I think it was like a green stitch, but I don't know which one, but the key's right here. And like this dark purpley color is actually black. And down here... Maybe it was red stitches for yellow. Like down here, these red and green stitches were red in something. It's very bizarre how they do that, but all that washes out anyway. So I have little bits of this done. I take this, like I take it on vacation. I didn't, look at how. That's hilarious. I need to learn that pin stitch for Ada to do this. But excuse me I take it when I think I might want to try to stitch in the car because it's so big it won't make me car sick but it does or um, maybe I'll take it up north this summer we are staying actually at, uh, at a house on Lake Michigan like literally you trot out your back door and then you're on Lake Michigan which is fabulous I'm so excited it's the first time we've rented this place so maybe I'll take it there and just stitch on the beach. Because, I mean, there's not. It has to be washed, obviously, when you're done to wash off the printing. And it's pretty sturdy. Like, I don't think there's much that can destroy those Chinese kits. So, there we go. Dog butt. Mm, good girl. I did a good girl. You should just smell it You smell it Anyway, um... Yeah, so that was it. Two extra whips. What does that take me up to now? Like 63, 64? I don't even know. I'll, um, I've been, <laughs> I've been writing them down. So you'll see them all below. And if you have any questions, let me know. And happy Friday! All right. See you guys later. Bye.